Welsh bridesmaid Caitlin Haston was attending her sister's wedding at Sorton Hall in Suck Din on August the 25th of 2018. The teenager, who'd reportedly been drinking throughout the day, got into an argument with her parents and began causing a ruckus. At around 1 a.m., the authorities were called to the venue and found Haston outside. She was wearing her wedding dress and no shoes, while displaying obvious signs of intoxication that included struggling to maintain her balance. 19-year-old Haston refused to give the police her name and claimed that she was going to walk home but refused to disclose where she lived. She ignored pleas for her to go to bed at the hotel and persisted in her belligerence, eventually ended up in handcuffs. Haston continued her aggressive behavior and reportedly screamed all the way on the drive to the station where upon arrival, she refused to go into a cell. As officers tried removing her clothing for processing, Haston kicked out at PC Sarah Hughes Jones, striking her in the knee twice causing pain. She reportedly told the officer, I hope your kids have Asperger's and hate you during the altercation. At the September hearing, the forensic psychology student apologized and stated that alcohol had gotten the better of her. Haston admitted assault as well as being drunk and disorderly and was given a fine. Number 7. Eden Boswell In June of 2014, Eden and Elvis Boswell, who'd appeared on the reality TV series My Big Fat American Gypsy Wedding, were at a wedding in High Point, North Carolina. 22-year-old Eden was the maid of honor at the event. Shortly before it could commence, however, the bride noticed that her purse, containing the wedding rings and cash meant for the honeymoon, was missing. Law enforcement was called to the scene, and a family member told them that they'd seen Eden with the purse earlier in the day, easily identifying her by the angel wings tattoo on her back. The maid of honor, who was eight months pregnant at the time, had stolen the purse and taken it back to 24-year-old Elvis, who was waiting in their truck. The couple stashed it in the back of the truck but then accidentally locked themselves out before Elvis could leave. Officers asked to search the vehicle and the former reality stars gave them permission to do so. The wedding rings and cash were recovered and as the police searched Elvis, they found a $100 bill that had been marked honeymoon in his pocket. The total value of the stolen property was reported as $6,100 and the Boswells were arrested on charges of felony larceny. The couple whose wedding they'd attended chose not to disclose their identities and their ceremony resumed in the theft's aftermath. Number 6. Amanda Willis On January the 6th of 2017, Amanda Willis was the maid of honor at the wedding of her best friend, Jennifer Jones, to David Butler. After becoming intoxicated, 35-year-old Willis caused a panic-inducing scene less than half an hour into the reception held in Punta Gorda. Florida. She'd reportedly downed an entire bottle of Fireball before she started asking guests for car keys and eventually stole a set belonging to the best man, who was Butler's brother. The woman then nearly hit him as she tried to drive off in his vehicle. After she was wrestled out of the car, Willis went back inside and started chugging a bottle of Captain Morgan. Charlotte County deputies were eventually called to the scene after Willis's rampage had culminated with her punching a male guest in the face. When officers arrived, the intoxicated maid of honor claimed that she was experiencing a medical emergency and started shaking as if she was having a seizure. Willis was taken to a hospital where she continued behaving erratically. She reportedly exposed her breast to the police officers, kicked over her bedpan, and assaulted two medics. Following her discharge, Willis was taken to the county jail on charges of larceny, battery, grand theft of a motor vehicle, and violation of probation. She'd previously been arrested eight times in the county on various charges. Following her wedding ruin outburst and consequent ninth arrest, Jones ended their relationship. Number 5. Jennifer Wheeler Ohio woman Jennifer Wheeler, aged 28, was driving to her sister's wedding in April of 2008 while her two young children were in the back seat. During the drive, Wheeler lost control of her vehicle and struck a tree on a Clermont County road. State troopers arrived at the scene and found the woman who was wearing a yellow bridesmaid dress at the time in an apparent state of intoxication. When she was booked at the Claremont County Jail, the police discovered nearly two dozen Xanax pills which the bridesmaid had hidden in her purse and bra. Wheeler maintained that the medicine had been prescribed to her. She faced a number of charges that included driving under the influence, felony drug possession, and child endangering. During a subsequent court appearance, Wheeler pleaded not guilty and stated, 
I've never been in any trouble, and I'm a great mother. I wasn't under the influence of alcohol. Number four, Heather Lynn TikTok incident. In December of 2022, a video went viral on TikTok with photos of a bridesmaid as she appeared to be touching the groom inappropriately during a wedding shoot. It was shared by the bride, Heather Lynn, who tied the knot with husband Travis in October. The mother of two from North Carolina quipped, I guess I'm getting a sister wife, in a video that was viewed over 19 million times. The unnamed bridesmaid was seen linking arms with the groom and touching him in the groin region. She tightly gripped his hand, even as he was kissing his bride. While the party was striking various poses for the photographer, Lynn was apparently oblivious to her behavior and continued smiling for the camera. Many users reacted to the story in outrage, commenting that Travis and the woman in question were having an affair. In a follow-up video, however, Lynn revealed that there was nothing nefarious about the bridesmaid's behavior. She claimed that the woman was tipsy during the shoot and had no choice but to grab onto Travis for stability. As the groomsman besides her was an amputee, Travis made an appearance in the video to confirm Lynn's reports, saying that he was sorry to disappoint with the truth, that he was not a cheater, and the bridesmaid was not a homewrecker. The most liked comments on the part two video, however, remained those from users expressing their skepticism and insisting for Lynn to let them know when their suspicions about the affair were confirmed. Number three, Linda Endicott. 25-year-old Linda Endicott was the maid of honor during a wedding reception at the Dockside Guest Quarters and Restaurant in York on May the 21st of 2011. Shortly after 10 p.m., police and the ambulance service were called to the venue after Endicott had displayed erratic and aggressive behavior. The caller reported that she'd grabbed a family member by the throat and started hitting them. She'd also dropped a glass and cut her leg on the broken shards. Officers found her in a gray SUV in the parking lot around which a large crowd had gathered. According to the police report, friends and family had struggled to get her in the vehicle and take her to the hospital. Officers described Endicott as highly intoxicated and combative. They took her into custody on a misdemeanor charge of disorderly conduct. After she was treated at the York Hospital, she was booked into the York County Jail in Alfred after midnight. Endicott spent the night in a cell before she was released on a $300 cash bail the following morning. Today's topic was requested by Instagram follower Lisa M. Mallet. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below or follow us on Instagram and reach out to us there. Number two, Jane Pountney. As reported by the British press, reality TV star and glamour model Katie Price had been best friends with Jane Pountney since the former was in her mid-teens. Pountney was a bridesmaid at two of Price's weddings to her second husband, MMA fighter Alex Reed, and then to her third husband, actor and exotic dancer Kieran Haler. Following the couple's wedding in the Bahamas, which took place in 2013, Price gave birth to a daughter. It was believed that around the time when the media personality became pregnant with Haler's second child, he and Pountney had started having an affair. During a family holiday they'd taken to Cape Verde together in 2014, Price reported that she caught Pountney, who was also married at the time, as she was performing an intimate act on Hala. It resulted in a confrontation during the course of which Price struck Pountney with such force that she knocked one of her teeth out. Looking back on the fight, the glamour model later recalled, I thought I was a cage fighter or something. Pountney pleaded for help from Hala, who called the resort security and they managed to pull Price off her. In the aftermath, Haler admitted that he'd had at least 25 secret trysts with Pountney over a period of seven months, leading up to the Cape Verde altercation. In spite of the affair, he and Price tried to make the marriage work but eventually began divorce proceedings in 2018. Pountney's marriage also broke down in the scandal's wake. Price indicated in a subsequent interview that there'd be no reconciliation with her former best friend, stating, Jane Pountney needs to go and die. That's all she needs to do. I hope she dies very painfully. Number one, Leslie Falcone. In late August of 2012, Florida woman Leslie Falcone was stopped by law enforcement in Holmes Beach as she was returning from what was reported as a bachelorette meeting. 
The 27-year-old had been observed driving her Jeep at over 63 in an area where the limit was 45. Officers observed that Falcone had glassy eyes and detected the smell of alcohol on her breath. They conducted field sobriety tests, which the woman failed as she had trouble standing up. She was arrested and on the way to the station reportedly told officers, this is what I get for being a bridesmaid. Falcone also spontaneously admitted that she'd had a few drinks before and after the bachelorette dinner. She was charged with DUI and later released from custody after posting a $1,500 bond. Thanks for watching. Which fictional character would make a better maid of honor, Wednesday Adams or Harley Quinn? Let us know in the comments section below.